the big one is the second club. So it's an interesting topic for me because I kind of like I love discovering new leagues, and I kind of find the best way to follow a league is to follow a team in that league. Obviously, we mentioned I like Aberdeen in Scotland, even though I'm a Liverpool yeah. fan. We mentioned um. Like, I have FC Copenhagen shirts, I have FC Köln shirts, because I, I like the Bundesliga, I'm like, oh, it's probably easier to follow if I pick a team, I picked FC Köln because their mascot's an actual goat. Um, Copen like, I, so I, I do have these teams I kind of keep an eye on, but I wouldn't say I have a second club which is as strong as West Ham United. Like, I yeah. love West Ham. Like, I, I feel bad saying it because I'm a Liverpool fan, and that's why it's a whole guilty pleasure, but... I can 100% say if I wasn't a Liverpool fan, I would support West Ham. It, okay, maybe that's not how it would have worked out. I probably wouldn't have known who they were in America when I was like playing, starting to play football. But uh, the, their fans are ace. West Ham and Massive is such a good song. Just kind of seeing how happy their fans were and, um, when they won the Conference League final. And uh, just kind of like the whole rivalry with Millwall. It, it seemed a little things like when that fan flew to Ghana to watch Muhammad Kudus play football before he'd even kicked a ball in a West Ham shirt just because he was a new signing. And oh, I just feel like East London's such such a great place. And even kind of like the famous West Ham fans and whatnot, like um, Jack May, he's a YouTuber I like a lot. And then the guys like, yeah. Tom, like Tom Skinner, Spencer FC. Like, I think there's just such a fun energy in that club. And I think like there's very few things in the world more fun than being a West Ham fan. So... Like, it's funny, actually, my little brother, so, it, it, so we were on a holiday in Barcelona this past, like, this past July, and yeah. kind of, we, we went to this coastal town, and, like, there, there were a lot of, kind of, Brits there who just shit-faced, like, 10 a.m., so we were kind of playing into it sort of thing, like, pretending we were kind of, like, all oh, the Brits abroad kind of stereotype, so we would, like, um, be walking on, like, a nice trail or something, or, like, in a nice castle, and we would sing West Ham Massive, just because that's the first thing that came to mind. And um, basically, yeah. my little brother, he, he like, loved it so much and thought it was like the funniest thing West Ham Massive. So we just, for Christmas and birthday, um, me and my older brother started buying him West Ham things. So right now he mm -hmm. has an American flag with the West Ham crest on it and he has a West Ham shirt. So yeah, we were kind of forced him to supporting West Ham just because of that fun. Like in music class in school, we... um. We each submit a song to listen to, and it's meant to not be a serious song, but a song you can kind of dissect the theory of and talk about musical sense. But I obviously submitted West Ham Massive, and I sold my car to Lucas Paqueta, and everyone loved it. Like, you have these kind of kids, and kind of music kids in sports doesn't always overlap. So, for a lot of kids, basically, there's a, like, a very small group of like American high school band kids in the only Premier League club they know at West Ham. And they know yeah. West Ham massive. I just find that so funny. But I, I could sit here all day and talk about West Ham. Like they're one of those clubs. I just love seeing them do well. I love what David Moyes is doing. They have so many likable players. But it, I would say Leicester a few years ago. I kind of like Casper Schweinkel. I kind of like Brendan Rodgers. I, I like James Madison a lot. Um, and obviously I think Leicester are an easy team to kind of appeal to for obvious reasons with them winning the league. But yeah, my second club, if I can still call myself a Liverpool fan after this unbridled showing of love for West Ham, <laughs> my, my second club is definitely West Ham, so I, I don't know if you have one, but do you kind of have anything to kind of like, uh, kind of anything like for, for yourself in the in the terms of second clubs? Uh, yeah, I, I, I've, obviously from a lot of my travelling, I've tried to go to a lot of games, but I think two especially, I think right now, are Venezia in, in Italy, and um. Mm -hmm. I maybe say Vizel Kobe as well. Yeah. They're probably too definitely without a doubt. I think um Venezia is probably I'd say mainly my second because um there's something just so rich about the city of Venice in general. And like I just love the American takeover they had. They just they've got a like, a big bunch of like, just random American players in the in the league and I loved how they tried to be a bit exciting and signing players like Nanny and stuff. And then even even when it didn't really work out and they end up getting relegated again, there's just some something so special about you know, like, there's a club, like, a club, a football club in Venice, you know what I mean? It's just quite incredible. Like, obviously just, because it's so different from everywhere else in Europe, you know what I mean? With only the canals, no roadworks, and then... But the fact that even they, they love football, history, yeah. I love the idea that... Yeah, they have such a rich, rich, rich history, it's just, it's such a, they're such a cool, cool team. I just really, and obviously, without a doubt, one of the best kits in the whole oh, of football. They... they I think them and I actually release three bangers every single year for kids. Honestly, yeah, they're just yeah, Vin they're it's with Kappa as well. Oh my oh, no, Kappa genuinely. Oh, oh, football shots Kappa are incredible. 
Yeah, yeah. for the course. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. I think um, yeah, for this year, I've also had a kind of soft spot for. Uh, they've got some quality players there. I think Poy and Paolo's still up top for them. He was he's he was he's scoring a crap ton of goals for them, but. Oh yeah, is it? I think they're still in CDB and they're kind of they're doing they're not doing too bad, but I'm not, yeah, I don't see them coming to CDA too soon, at least. <laughs>